Pardon me, sir. I think you have the wrong car. Vladimir Prop claimed characters could be defined by the spheres of action and the role they played in the progression of the story. After studying 100 fairy tales in tremendous detail, he identified seven archetypes the villain, the donor, the helper, the princess, the dispatcher, the hero, and the false hero. In this video essay, we're going to conduct an analysis of Shyamalan's splits, Kevin, and his identities through Vladimir Prop's theory of character types. Prop identified the type of hero in two ways, as a seeker and as a victim. Kevin Wendell Crump, as the hero of Split, is clearly a victim. He suffers from the action of the villain and the phenomena of his mental illness. Kevin Wendell Crump. Kevin Wendell Crump. You made a mess. Come out here. Prop describes the donor as a provider of helpful agents in the name of a mission on the condition that their own demands will be met. Dennis's demand is to not be ridiculed, to be allowed to take the light, and when he is able to do so, he carries out all of the physically necessary parts of the beast's mission. His force and obligation is the helpful agent in the narrative. He is organized power. Please. Prop describes a type called the princess, but defines it in different spheres of action. The title is removed from royalty and has more to do with being sought for. The princess can be a victim, yet she can also be the source of evil. She can be directive and can also supply a token that will prove itself useful in the mission. Patricia isn't sought for because she is desperate. Her sphere of action isn't evil. She stays at a point of neutrality that both pleases the beast and doesn't let blood get to her hands. Her way of being the princess is much more strategical than we're used to seeing. She has an immense sense of awareness of her reality. I'll talk to him. He listens to me. Prop describes the type of the dispatcher as the figure who calls for help. Barry is a textbook match. He sends out a fleet of emails when the acts of the evil trio, the Beast, Patricia and Dennis, reach an increasing amount of violence and although he doesn't intervene with the kidnapping, his cry for help is important in comprehending his character as the dispatcher. At a charity ball. Shut up. <laughs> you know, I, I can't stay too long. This is, this is just, a, just a visit. Prop defines the helper as the type that uses their special strength to help the hero further the story. Nine-year-old Hedwig's innocence is his most important strength and he's always there to support what he believes to be right. Hedwig can come into the light at any time he wishes to do so. He uses his force in the place of altars to support the rescue of the hero. He's on the move. Prop defines the villain as the one doing the evil action. In the case of the beast, his control over the others alters by way of psychological pressures and evil actions, but his harm over the characters is much more physically gruesome. Ultimately, we see that each character type has an identity in Split, and their meeting spot is Kevin's body. Such unity provides us with a single form that leads the story to different paths, allowing us to see how various character types can exist in a single body. <laughs> 